Here's a little story about a boy named Billy with a problem much like your own. You see, Billy had a bully by the name of Bobby, and he wouldn't leave the boy alone. Now Bobby came around every day around now, making Billy really scared and blue. It's so sad and silly, but Bobby bullied Billy till he didn't know what to do. Day after day it wouldn't go away, though Billy would beg and plead. At lunch and at soccer, after class, by the locker, Billy knew where the bully would be. So Billy looked around for his teacher, Mr. Brown, cause he knew the right thing to do. Said, I can't understand and I really need a hand, that's why I'm speaking to you. His teacher said, Billy, I'm proud of you. The best thing that you can do is speak up. Stop bullying. Speak up. Stop bullying. Everybody, it's up to you. It's the right thing to do to speak up. Stop bullying. You've got to speak up. Days Bobby changed his ways, Billy thought his bully bother was gone. But brother, let me say, Bobby didn't stay away, and the bully kept bullying on. When he saw Bobby there standing over by the stair, Billy tried not to catch his eye. But he couldn't ignore him, saw Bobby coming for him, that's when Buddy came walking by. But he walked by, still he thought he noticed poor Billy being bullied there in the hall. The scene, it kind of threw him, cause Buddy barely knew him, but he knew he better get involved. But he stepped up, said, I hate to interrupt, but I believe that you could use a friend. And being there together made Billy feel better, Bobby wouldn't bully Billy again. But he said, Billy, I'm here for you, the best thing I know to do is speak up. Stop bullying, speak up, stop bullying. No fool and I see what I've been doing and I want to apologize to you You see all along I was trying to feel strong cause I was once bullied too So Billy and Bobby became good friends But this is not yet where the story ends The two 